Welcome back to this Let's Play of The Last Remnant. Last time, we uh, did a quest called Frustrations, and it was surprisingly not very frustrating. In fact, it was fairly easy. It was just a, you know, a big Spirit Lord fight, and it was worth a lot of money. And this guy wants us to go to out into the desert and uh, find a blood-soaked sword. Okay. Kind of a random request, but... We seem to be excelling at just doing random requests. I'm not sure why they give you the little intro screen for the Great Sand Sea when obviously you have to have been here in order to get to Balak. So, and uh, he requires you to go hunt down a Grand Beetle in order to uh, get the sword. Okay, well, we've fought Grand Beetles here before. I've actually intentionally fought Grand Beetles. If I remember right, it's one of the ones that's away on sort of the west, or sorry, yeah, west side of the map. And given the Great Sand Sea's, you know, usual walking thing, I'm just going to teleport there. Teleport. Off screen. I'm actually going to stop a little bit ahead of where I wanted to be and just pick up a treasure chest, which is here on the map. And I forget what formation that's part of. Let's see if this is the beetle we want. Let's do this! Terra Best. Which is actually a different type of beetle. I wonder if this is the right one. Like all beetles, of course, it has the... Uh, wonderful little ability to use Defend, which doesn't actually help it win, but makes it slower for you to win, which is all good in my book, because it's a good opportunity to spam skills and things. Not healing skills, that is. And, uh, it's not quite defended enough. I feel stronger than before! Power. Yes, I'm not seen out quite yet! I'm becoming stronger. Okay, well... Let's see if we got the sword. Nope. Oh well. I don't mind grinding a little bit on those beetles because, well, they're, uh... So this one here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tag it with, uh... Time Shift and see if I can link another one to it. Because there's another one down here at the bottom. That one's one of these green beetles, which... These other ones are called Terra Pests. And I have a feeling they are not, as Zathras would say, not the one. Um, but this beetle here is. So I tag it, I tag our friendly Terra Pest, and let's do this indeed. And there are actually three of them. There's a grand... yeah, this is a grand beetle, the other two are terror pests. So... I'm not really gonna be very picky, it's just sort of... Attack what's nearby, because none of these enemies are particularly difficult. They might not die real quickly, but... They're not gonna kill me at all. I'll be surprised if I... Well, this fight, there are three of them, maybe I'll have to heal. Maybe? Oh, I didn't need to use Mighty Ear Banger. These guys are even just too far away to even attack it. Easy money. Sweet! 
Little by little, I'm becoming stronger. Nothing but that land insect of Talon. But hopefully that's the... Yep, here we go. Easy quest. We'll see this guy again, too. And he gives us another one of those Salia items. And nothing else. Oh well. This is where Gao hangs out. Um, and uh, he doesn't want to talk to us. Not surprising. But that's it for the uh, sorry, Town of Bullock for side quests for now. There are a couple more later, one of which is, I guess, rather difficult. Probably the hardest quest in the game you get here in Bullock. And that leaves us with just Royosha. But uh, I'm going to just end this episode here, I think. Uh, I'll look at how much time we have, but I'm pretty sure we are uh, close to done. Well, I guess this quest will be quick to record, even if it takes a while to do because of all the loading screens and wandering around, but um, Rafus here wants you to find uh, a, uh, an old treasure, and uh, he have traded it to a uh, man in Valtarosa for some Rhoetian wine, so I'll meet in Valtarosa. While we're here in Valtarosa, we get another red dot for Cadman, so, you know, I'll just talk to him. He uh, talks about the founder of the Silver Falcons. Nothing real important, but you gotta get the conversation out of the way. And uh, this time he does not actually give you a quest for talking to him. Which is good, because the last Silver Falcon's quest wasn't actually all that easy. And uh, I want to essentially have my full party before I start messing around with it. Anyway, the guy we're, we're going to is... Uh, I forget what his name is. Um, Rain, here. Um, and, uh, you know, essentially he traded it to somebody in Bullock. Okay, so we're off to Bullock. And here in Valuk, we find Alyssa. And uh, she's done with trading because she got a fake treasure map out of it. And she charges you 10,000 gold for this Ring of Morning Calm, which uh, I guess is the next swap on this meet. And uh, so now we have to move on to the next guy to swap that. Specifically, we come back to Rain here. And there's one kind of quirk to this quest. Um, and that it's better to refuse things the first time. And he throws in something if you make, if you refuse the first time. Okay. And he says that the item that he traded off that we're actually looking for is in Illusion. So we'll meet you there. We're here in the Ganad district. This is where we went into the temple. It's not actually in the tavern. But here's Boson. Boson Smythe. And we'll refuse and he wants the wine, and we can also give him Ryoshin ore instead. And I, the wine doesn't have any particular use, but hey, you know, why not? I'd rather have I mean, the Ryoshin steel I can just get more of by harvesting. So, anyway, back to Alyssa. And she says whatever she traded for, well, she just kind of threw it away. So, we'll have to look around for where she threw it away. And it's just up here by the guild. One last stop back at Elysian. And only two more stops on this quest. And, uh... He, uh, gives you this stone back, which is apparently what he traded for in the first place. So, back to Alyssa. And she also gives you this Ring of Morning Calm that we bought earlier. Okay. And then we just need to go hand in the quest uh, back at uh, Broyosha. And the guy tells you more or less that his... Uh... Oh, I talked to the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he and his wife used to wander around and they, they made up this map to... Uh, you know, but it's just sentimental value. He gives you more Royal Ocean Wine and um, Hero Set Stone, and uh, actually those items are originally quest items and then they just show up in your inventory. There's no use for either of them. I think you can sell one of them or 
maybe both of them, but I'm just going to hang on to them for, you know, stupid value. That's all for this episode. Next time, more Royal Ocean Quest.